in the blue bedroom wardrobe, which I've just about finished. When I was just putting some stain on these inner doors, I found signatures of the previous family all written on the, on the wood. And what I'm doing now is the last little bit, which is just sorting out this edge, which doesn't seem to have much polish on it at all. It looks like it's always been polished to the door and not beyond it. So I'm gonna just take that to the edge of the wood. This is sort of rough old wood, the infill for the base of it. And um, I've put some varnish over it to preserve the paper because reading through it, the only dates that are quoted on it, and it's not me that's dripped paint on it, by the way, um, that's from the previous blue that was put on. Um, the only dates I can find on here are 1834, 1835 and 1836. So a very early newspaper. So that's just been polished up to the edge now. Just walking across this courtyard this morning, which is over towards the, the big barn here. And uh, I noticed a bit of something in the ground here. It's plate, metal plate. So I'm just gonna have a little exploration there, see what that is. Well, that's uncovered it. I don't know what it is yet. Even if there's anything underneath it. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm none the wiser. Anyone got any ideas what that is? So this is a wooden frame we bought at a Brocant with a mirror in it. We've used the mirror in the bathroom, blue bathroom that we're just doing um, over the sink. It looks like it's actually got a bit of heat damage at the bottom, but it's a sound frame and Mark has just um, put some extra support in the back of it. And that's going in the blue bedroom, so He's also bought a bit of picture glass to go in it, so I'm gonna put one in the other and then find something to go in it. So I've carefully slid the glass onto a nice thick bit of cardboard. I'm gonna cut that out to size. I've given the glass a clean with a bit of vinegar and uh, then that thick bit of card will give me something to stick all my advertising boxes onto. So this is my piece of cardboard cut to size. This is my pile of boxes that look like a load of tat, but they are incredibly old. And I would like to do something with them if I possibly could. So these are boxes that clothes have been delivered in. So from Paris, from Chateau Roux, Look at this lovely illustration. Palace of Clothes. So some of them are in good condition, some of them are terrible. And here's a box that was delivered to here from, oh no, to Chateau Roux. So they would have had to go and collect it from Chateau Roux. So they had deliveries from Paris put on the train. So I'm going to save all that labelling, try and make a picture of it.
good. So that's the pickled onions. Pickled shallots. Job done. Leave them for a month and uh, we can try them. These are some of the walnuts we took off our tree last year. They've still got their fruit skin on them. But that's the walnut that's inside. That's a better one. Look at that. That's a nice, nice walnut. Can get him out of the shell. There we go. There's a few more there to. There's a few more there to shell. So. After all that shelling, that big bowl of nuts, we've ended up with that much nut to, to eat. But hey ho, and Barbara's going to use all the shells, so she's kept them in pairs, and uh, she's going to use them all, so she can put them all back together again. Our next lot for the cupboard, so we've got our pickled shallots and our walnuts. <laughs>